I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Carlissa talks about how she was taught to handle the other woman. Grandma taught me the rules. She said, girl, you put your 10 years in before you even look like you want to find out what he doing in the backyard, okay? You don't go in that backyard for shit, okay? I don't go looking. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I will never know. She got her seat and I got mine, okay? Mine say medical, dental, life insurance retirement <laughs> her say backyard in the dirt in the alley <laughs> she ain't going no doctor she ain't going no dentist she gonna go to that emergency room <laughs> nothing about i don't know nothing about if mrs sappho got a happy house got a happy hole back there in the backyard or not be sure to like share and subscribe okay so what was we saying we was talking about the outhouse and the back house so i'm in the front house okay i am in the house i'm not going in the backyard to see what he got going on in the backyard okay that's not my job to do i ain't got that to do i ain't got time for that okay now if she want to give mr sappho some some or some whatever they do in there that's between them and god now if i catch that hole in this house <laughs> she gonna get buried in the backyard. <laughs> she gotta remain in her position. They gotta do keys in the car. I don't know what they gonna do, but what they gonna ain't gonna do is get up in here. Okay, now whatever they doing out there in that hot ass backyard with them frogs and, and them uh, caterpillars and shit. <laughs> That's between them and God. I don't even know if he could still get somebody pregnant, but if he could get somebody pregnant, <laughs> her that Hagar hoe going to be out there in the backyard in the wilderness, okay? In the whole wilderness. That ain't got nothing to do with me. She can't come in here. Her baby can't come in here. They can't come in here, okay? Ohio, yes, girl, that's Ohio language, ain't it? Girl, we ain't going out there looking for that trash. Bet I don't. I'm gonna sit right in here in this air conditioner and wait my turn. <laughs> I'm in year seven of my marriage. Does it really get like that? Girl, I don't know. I don't think so. If you keep doing your job, and keep your, keep your marriage in prayer and try to keep your mouth closed because you know we as black we always want to open our mouth and say some stuff. Especially when you making a little money. I've been having to catch myself and do some hum daddy say hum daddy say hum daddy because I be about to tell this ninja. He be waking up at like two in the morning talking about I'm hungry. You hungry? What you want me to do about that? I'm making money too now. You know because back in the day when you weren't making no money you... <laughs> Girl, you had to compete with that back household. She back there ready to make that sandwich, okay? But when you start making some money, girl, you better have that sam make that sandwich in the morning time. I'm not going to make no sandwich. <laughs> Sorry. Your stomach better wait till the morning. Now, if you broke and it's just you and him or that back household, <laughs> you got to get up and make that sandwich. But if you got a couple dollars, honey, and you can pay your own medical and dental, baby, I'm not making a sandwich today. <laughs> Girl, I am going to tell y'all, I ain't cooked since Zeus gave me that first check. I checked out. <laughs> I'll be like, make sure you grab something to eat on your way home. <laughs> tell that back, that back household you hungry. <laughs> Tell that back that backyard you hungry. Mm -mm. Girl, cause he be wanting to eat at two in the morning when I'm dozing off. Fifty-two year old women should not be up making sandwiches. <laughs> I don't
don't even get up and wash the stuff off. You know what I'm talking about, girl. I go to sleep with that crust on me. At 52, it ain't like when you used to be 20. You could jump up, get in the shower, wash your hair, and come back smelling fresh, girl. I go to sleep crusty. I can barely make it. I can barely make it after a session. Where that lady go that says she's been married seven years? After seven years, tell the truth. You going to sleep crusty too. Shit. Crusty, stuck together. Woke, wake up, that shit be stuck together. Girl, 52, so you know I'm not getting ready to get up and make no sandwich <laughs> after no session if I ain't finna get up and get in that bathtub. Uh-uh, honey. <laughs> the way I just spit my drink out. Girl, because you know you ain't doing it either. Girl, you got to do that with them new movies, though, that you don't know if you're sharing them. You're going to catch them UTIs, girl. But when you've been with somebody for 10 years, that shit going to smell exactly the same, no matter whether you wash it in the morning or at night. But if you over there with Billy and Bob, you better get your ass up and get that shit and get in the bathtub, okay? Thank you, girl. Right, lay my ass right there. Bet I don't. Shoot. And then <laughs> I used to be wondering why my grandma used to be like in the middle of the night. She would come out of her room like, God damn it, Junior. Like, damn, you got to make a sandwich, huh? <laughs> y'all remember when y'all grandma used to come out the back room in the middle of the night when you used to try to sneak and stay up and watch TV? And she got her face all twisted up, talking about, God damn it. <laughs> Girl, she didn't want to go make that sandwich. You should have got yourself a job. <laughs> Blueface told Jaden to let you see the kids again. Why he didn't tell Krishan to let you see Krishan Porter? Um, I don't think he got a chance to tell her to let me see him or not. I don't think he, when I remember when I went to the house and she thought I, he wasn't going to let me see him. And then she called him and was like, I don't know, your mama evil. Should I let her see the baby? And he said, yeah, let her see the baby and let her see the baby on the front yard. Cause she going to talk about you if your house dirty. I don't know where he got that from, but, um, he knows that I'm the next best thing for his kids, for him, as far as like that love and that peace and that, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all heard him say when he, as a grown ass man, he, he wish he didn't slip and say this too. Y'all saw him, he was like, what the hell I done said in his interview. He's like, no, I get to go home and be like a kid again. Like he knows like that's the happy place for his kids. You know, your baby mama be stressed out. She trying to raise two kids. You want your kids to still be happy. You don't want your kids to be just sitting in there mean, mugging, and mad with the baby mama. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.